Hello everyone, Tim and Game here, and today I have the pleasure of bringing you some more Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay. Now today I'm playing some Demolition on Standoff, and my class setup is the Mark 48 Light Machine Gun, and I'm using the Primary Gunfighter Wild Card, which enables you to use three primary weapon attachments, and the attachments I've gone for are Reflex Sight, Foregrip, and Quick Draw Handle, and I'm going to go into all of this in a bit more detail in a bit, but just quickly, my perk setup is Hardline, Toughness, and Engineer, and I'm running one Concussion and a Bounce Betty and that's the full 10 points but before I get into the main part of the commentary I just want to talk a little bit about this class because I've set this class up to really maximize the strengths of the LMG and most LMGs are really really good at long range they're fairly accurate they've got a huge magazine and a high rate of fire so what you really want to do to maximize this is get an optic on and I don't particularly like the iron sights in the mark 48 I think they're a little bit too hard to see through and you lose targets quite easily so I always like to run a red dot in or a reflex sight depending on what LMG you have because as you can see it's nice and open really easy to see and you've got that one dot which is your target and some of the more chunky sites have quite large targeting optics and you can't really tell where you're aiming half the time so I like to have this nice precise target to really maximize on the accuracy and the foregrip is another attachment that helps with that because you really want to be accurate over long range it's your strength and you just saw from there this gun is so accurate at medium to long range you can just mow guys down and that's what I did there I mean I got about six kills in five seconds there just because of the accuracy and the foregrip really helps with that because you've got nice clear iron sights and your weapon isn't recoiling at all because of the foregrip. So over medium to long range you really are rocking it with this weapon, it's a fantastic choice for that. But equally, the reason why I run the third attachment, which is the quick draw handle, is because the LMG's greatest weakness is up close. It has pretty horrendous hip fire. Um, even though it has high damage, you're not going to hit many bullets if you hip fire, so it's a pretty weak choice to go for the short range. So getting your iron sights or your optics up quickly is the key to surviving any short range gunfight. You need to get your iron sights up, ADS, and try and mow a guy down before he has a chance to spray you out of the gunfight. So that's the reason why I use the quick draw handle. You can get your weapon up quickly and get accurate fire down, and the high rate of fire and the high damage can save you then. But Let's quickly run through my perk choice. Hardline, great perk. Been a great perk for multiple Call of Duties now. Enables you to get score streaks easier, and score streaks are the things that really help you control, especially in a objective game mode. But that's the that one. Toughness, fantastic again for a light machine gun. You really need to be accurate over long range. So if you're taking fire, toughness's ability to reduce the flinch is absolutely key. You can keep those sights on target and get the kill. So that's the reason why I run that. And then finally, Engineer. Engineer is a brilliant perk to run on a defensive class because you get to see all the bouncing betties people put down. You get grenade indicators. And the great thing is you get 50 points per destroy on a bouncing betty or any equipment. You only get 75 points for shooting a UAV down. So you can use Engineer as a really good way to rack up a hell of a lot of points to enable you to get those score streaks easy and because you're running hardline as well the score streak targets lower so you can get those streaks in very very easily like I do in this gameplay and they can help you to control the game but that's enough on the class I wanted to talk about light machine guns today because a lot of people always have trouble running with light machine guns and I've touched briefly on some of that in the class discussion in the first few minutes but what the major problem of the LMG is, is close range. If you're running around with that thing, you have reduced mobility, it has very poor hip fire, and although the high damage, you're going to lose the vast majority of close range gunfights. And people like to move around the map in Call of Duty, especially in objective game modes. You know, you've got to capture that flag, you've got to blow up that objective. You've really got to be on the front foot, and fitting a defensive style weapon like a light machine gun into that front foot tactic is quite hard, but what I like to do with a light machine gun is treat it like a fire support. You aren't going to be the guy who's charging around the corner, mowing four people in the building and getting the bomb cap. But what you are going to do is you're going to be the guy who clears that bomb out for the start from long range and then they can set up over the bomb, covering all the approaches and make sure that any enemies don't get anywhere near it. And in this gameplay, that's the role I like to fulfill because I'm normally a support player anyway. I like to run low kill streaks or score streaks get UAVs up, run sentry guns, run lightning strikes, those sorts of things. So I'm quite happy fulfilling this role, but some people still feel that need to charge around, and with a light machine gun, you, that's really not the way to go. You can see in this little part of the gameplay here, I'm set up behind a tank, and getting set up in cover is the key thing, because as you can see, 
when you're out in the open, you can die very, very easily, as you saw there. But what you need to do with the light machine gun to counter this is to try and get as far advanced up the map as possible and then find a nice solid bit of cover to hide behind and get that fire support out over the objective. You really need to rely on your teammates to help you push up the map because you're not the most mobile, you're not going to be able to take four people out in an open gunfight. But when you're in cover, when you're embedded over that objective, there's no weapon I'd rather have than a light machine gun. You have an absolutely huge ammo capacity, so you can sustain fire for a long period of time. And when you're defending an objective and there's 10 seconds left on the, on the bomb counter, and you step up with 100 rounds in that magazine, you can keep fire down for that entire period. And the enemies aren't going to get anywhere near you. I mean, you can just see here. The light machine gun paired with these attachments with the perk setup really enables you to be an absolute laser tag over long range. And I've just set up by the bomb site pretty much this entire gameplay and I'm trying to pick people off. But unfortunately a couple of times they get a, a few sneaky ninja defuses. And we've got players around the bomb having a look around going, oh it's alright, it's pretty clear. And all of a sudden one guy swoops in from nowhere, gets a cheeky defuse. But because you're set up in this position, even when one enemy gets a lucky defuse, it doesn't mean they're even back in the game because you're so advanced, you've got such dominant firepower over the objective, you can just keep reaching out, killing them before they get anywhere near the objective and the vast majority of my kills are over 40 meters in this gameplay and you can just see in here, I am mowing them from all parts of the map before they get within 10 meters of the bomb and this is one of the occasions when they get a cheeky ninja defuse but I managed to kill the diffuser. We're a little bit light on the bomb, so I just stay alive, wait for the support to arrive, call in some support streaks to push them back, and then all of a sudden, we're right back on the bomb again. If you have a look at the minimap now, we've got four teammates right on the bomb, we've got two pushing up, and when I call the sentry gun in here to watch the road, you really do lock them down. And this is the thing, it's just the constant momentum factor. When you get a roll going on Call of Duty, it's very, very difficult for the enemy team to overturn you because as you can see here, I'm in a position where they can't get close to me. I'm getting kills, I'm building those score streaks, I'm protecting the objective. I'm earning these score streaks that enable to lock down the objective even more. So if I die or if I get pushed off the objective, my sentry gun's still there or I've got a lightning strike to drive them back and then we can re-establish dominance. So when you're in this position you've really got to push hard and make sure that you don't let the enemy team back into it this is the part of the game where you've really got to establish dominance get that bomb plant and get the game won because the light machine gun when used in this way just can deny huge amounts of the map to the enemy and you can just sit back support your team, cover them, and the enemy can't get close, and they're relying on last ditch nades to save the day, to stop bomb plants, and eventually, we just get the bomb planted, and they can't do anything about it, and they run out of answers, and occasionally the enemy team gets lucky, gets that ninja defuse or whatever, but if you're set up in this way with a light machine gun, with decent teammates around you, and if you run in a party, that's going to be the case 99% of the time, you absolutely destroy them. And in this gameplay, I think I got 51 kills with basically no effort at all. I ran sentry gun as my highest streak. I ran a primary gunfighter to make that light machine gun as, as effective as it can be at what I wanted it to do, which is medium to long range engagements. I want this thing to be as good as it can be at that. And you play to the weapon strengths. It takes a bit of getting used to just to play a little bit more passively. But playing passively doesn't mean playing negatively. I'm controlling what I do, I'm slowing my gameplay speed down, but at the same time I'm still running into just as many engagements as I would going around charging with an MP7, because I'm setting up cleverly where I am in the map to funnel the enemy towards me, and in an objective game mode playing like this really is the way to go, because in demolition you've got set spawns, so if you just set up in that location, nice and tight, covering that objective, the enemy are going to find it very hard to push you off, so guys that's going to bring the commentary to an end. Final score in the end I think is 51, 52 and 11 which is a really solid score in a demolition gameplay which is characterised by so many random grenades and random score streaks and all that so that's a pretty solid score and it just goes to show how effective the LMG is in this role and my favourite one at the moment is the Mark 48 but they are all good weapons so if you haven't tried them out I fully recommend to try them out in this way so guys once again thank you so so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video and as always have a great day.